let me explain a little bit about Nervousworks itself. Is the first thing I want to point out is that when it's delivered uh, to your system, there's two really separate products there. There's a, a free viewer called the Nervousworks Freedom uh, viewer, which is something that you would give to somebody who doesn't have a copy of Navisworks Manage. This lets people look at a Navisworks project without actually having purchased the, the uh, Navisworks itself. Uh, kind of an equivalent would be, say from AutoCAD you could produce a DWF file, a DWIF file, and you could give people DWIF viewers that are often free of charge um, and then they can, uh, so they, they, are, they are available free of charge from Autodesk as part of the product, uh, especially for things like doing red lines. In fact, uh, let's just see, I've got one in there, De design review is one of the options. And you can you can use in these products, you can use the WIF files, but then the person doesn't have to have the authoring software to look at the, the drawings, but can look at the, in the case of Navisworks, can look at the project without having the actual authoring part of the product which is the the managing part of Navisworks. So let me open up Navisworks Manager so we can see what it looks like. Um, what I want to point out here is the similarity between this and Revit architecture uh, and, and for that matter similarity to 3D Studio Max and AutoCAD architecture and to some extent inventor is that the layout is the same. Right? If you look up here you've got your application menu um, when I click on this I can see that I've got the same kind of options that I had inside inside Revit. Um, beside it, it will actually one, one difference uh, if I double click on the application menu in Navisworks it will actually exit the product. It doesn't do that in all application menus but it does in Navisworks. Beside it, the quick access toolbar. So the functionality is similar to other products. Uh, for example, I find a command that I want to use all the time, like find items. I can say right click and add it to the quick access toolbar. So quick access toolbar is customizable to let you make a collection of the commands that you use all the time. You know, open, append, print, select. In this case, I had the find items. If I want to remove something, I can right click and say remove it from the quick access toolbar. Um, the, the name of the project file that I'm in, I haven't saved this yet, so it's still called Untitled. Beside that, the Info Center, where I can go out and look for content, do a search um, in, this, in, in this area and then click on the binoculars, or for example, get information um, on help and uh, uh, information uh, about Navisworks, like the Getting Started Guide or the New Feature Workshop, which shows the features of Navisworks. And Getting Started Guide is pretty much what I'm outlining at the moment, um, open with, with uh, some additional information. Um, a major part is the ribbon, and it has commands grouped the same way as they are in the other applications. Uh, home. Uh, Again, similar to Revit that we, we just looked at, is uh, is your your most used commands really in Navisworks, uh, the ones that you return to the uh, on under the home tab. Um, I'll point out right here before we go much further is that that you can have multiple different windows um, and 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 panels in Navisworks, and sometimes what it is is that you can if you see the ones that are shown in, in blue here, is that these are, uh, you can turn them on and off by clicking on the, so the, if I wanted to do presenter, if I wanted to do animator, if I wanted to do scripter, it's largely a, a case of turning on timeliner, clash detection, it's largely a case of on that home tab of turning on the, the button that shows the the window that has the functionality that you want. So I, I believe this is the way that it's delivered but I'm going to show you that it doesn't really make much difference because there's another feature called uh, workspaces that are that makes managing this whole thing a lot a lot easier. 
So the home tab is there because largely you're going to be using these things in pres in creating content within your within your project. Viewpoint is creating other views, like so I've made a perspective and I want to save it, or um, I want to uh, bring a show in an animation, something like uh, a third person who is affected by gravity or or collides with objects in the building. That's the kind of thing that you can get from the viewpoint. I'll show you some of that if I get a chance. And uh, Reviewing is like making notes inside the project so that you can share it with other team members. If, if maybe I ran a clash or collision detection um, and I found a duct that uh, is uh, colliding with a, a structural column, I can put a note on there so that the other members of the team can see it and then I can even publish that and uh, give it to them so that they can act on the, the problem that I've discovered. Animator, this is a little different from most animation products, at least the ones that I've used. Um, products like uh, 3D Studio Max let you create uh, what are called keyframes. If you think of a storyboard of somebody walking through a building, you would create, if you like, uh, uh, captures keyframes at critical points of the path that you want to uh, duplicate and then the software creates in-betweens to, to finish the movie and, and, and Navisworks will let you do that but what's a little different about it is Navisworks will also just let you click a record button and then zoom in and walk through the model recording what it is you're seeing at the time that you're, you're moving live through the, the project um, or if you do something like on the timeliner play back the sequence of events for construction of the building, you could record it to make a, a movie that you then show to somebody. View, um, AutoCAD has, op has often used uh, multiple windows, you know, tiled maybe one by one, or, or tiled beside each other on your, on your screen area. In Navisworks what you have is a, a scene and if you want to have multiple views then under this view option here you could do something like say split that view uh, vertically to create multiple views so really multiple cameras within your project and before I go any further just let me open up a project so we can just make a bit more sense if I go to and you, you could open up any NFW file just to show what I'm thinking about so what I did there was I, I now have one view of my model here which also has a section cut through it and this here that I could be looking at it I'm just dragging on the controller I could be looking at it from a different position okay, and then I'm, I'm uh, panning here just to save, save them when I don't want a view um, I can just kill the window to get out of here if I go back to my so that's that's views um, and uh, but the main thing on views that I think you'll find most interesting is this this can all get very confusing like what components do I have on my screen and uh, why can't I find something that a tutorial is referring to uh, it's because the whole thing is customizable well the way of bringing it back to so instead of doing an uh, action like this where I go in and I say well, I think I might want to have that properties available so that when I when I select something, it'll show me about the 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 object that I've selected. You you would probably want to have a look at these under the workspaces. This is very similar to workspaces in AutoCAD, and um, you can do th these are pre-configured workspaces, or you can save your own and you can and. Uh, and uh, restore them if you want custom workspaces. But if I go to Navisworks Minimal, you see what it does is kind of appears to exit the interface and then comes back in with a, a minimum of content here. You've lost all of these additional uh, panels that I was working on. So the other ones that are there are the, the, the standard, which has some uh, different arrangements on here similar to say AutoCAD architecture it has these kind of auto hide 
uh, panels where you can just when you mouse over it they come out from the side and you can pin them if you want to keep them there which is an important thing to remember that uh, if you if you don't want that that behavior where it disappears you could bring up a panel like that then pin it and then it's it's going to stay there on the screen you have to unpin it before it will you can get you want to get rid of it do I uh, unpin it or do I delete it do I, uh, if I go back to where it says um, that was the standard right? so that's why I'm pointing out that this here lets you go and find um, a pre-configured arrangement for all of these tools right, that can be here. so rather than customize something um, it's a good practice as we get used to the product just to use this standard configuration and I'm going to recommend that we work with the one that was called uh, uh, Navisworks Standard. The extended is just a little too much just uh, just show you so you can see got so much stuff going on here that it's if I unpin uh, that unpin that then it all depends on what options I've got. So I'm going to suggest, like I say, that we go to Navisworks Standard Workspace. Okay. Um, the other parts of the, com the interface um, under Output are doing things like creating a GWF file, because that could be used, uh, say, on a web page. FBX, where you want to take your model and maybe an FBX file can be, or not maybe, but maybe your goal is to have the file used by 3D Studio Max where an FBX file would be uh, readable there or put it on Google Earth or save an image or create a rendered image create your animations, so uh, save your animations that is um, so really what it says, options that are to do with creating output you've got the same choices here to t toggle through the display to control the look of that ribbon. Um, you've got now, because I went to the uh, the workspace that we want to use, you've got these options to, to extend the tool out when you want to use it and if for example you wanted to pin it you could do that with the symbol there. And so these, these options are what are called sets, and these are collections of data that's in here, and I'll show you how to create those. Um, the, that, that's the majority of what you're seeing around here is that these are the tools. The other thing I haven't mentioned is this uh, navigation item. And just to show you, if I go back to view, you'll see the functionality here is that I could like, turn on the view cube or turn off the navigation bar. So if you wanted it to look like Revit, you could simply click on those two commands there. Um, so I'll, I'll leave them up for the moment to make it look a bit more like the Revit that we're familiar with. And um, I'll, I'll explain a bit more about the navigation in the next movie.